Hello, it's Camo Dive. <laughs> this is Adam Hugel. He's from England. Anyway, does an interesting video here on how much does a small YouTube channel make. Uh, yeah, good video from Adam. 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 The other. Um, <laughs> too many Adams. I don't know, man. What is the channel? It's Bike Around the World Bike Tour. Really good videos to hear. Uh, wow, his hair has uh, really gotten shorter there. Anyway, uh, yeah, cycling UK from the UK to Malaysia. Uh, some good stuff. Good stuff. He's been in the United States and Canada, cycling all over the place. Uh, Alaska, the Dalton Highway, uh, and, and all over. But, you know, he, he says he's a small channel. It's only, you know, really... You know, not 100,000, not 50,000, it's only 16.8 thousand subscribers. So how much does he make? Well, you know, he just said about, oh, 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 about uh, 1,300 pounds. A, a month? No, no, a year. <laughs> anyway, at 1,300 pounds a year, which is about $1,500, right? And you know, something like that it, in American money. But, you know, now for people doing what he's doing who... I don't know. The, you know, if he, if he posted, if Adam posted a video, say every other day, uh, he would uh, probably make uh, a lot more than that. It's the frequency of the posting. He has enough subscribers to generate some views there, but here we go. You know, four hours ago, three weeks ago, one month ago, and then he does post a few things here, and then he did get uh, uh, you know four thousand views of that one. So you know, his views that that one got twenty one thousand views. So. Beast mode activated. Wow, um, he he could grow his channel more considerably, but uh, you know he's doing okay. It's helping him, you know, buy some biking equipment and stuff like that and all that. So, all right, and plus his, uh, you know, again, what we're seeing with the revenue this year for a lot of YouTubers is it's considerably lower than it was last year for a lot of different reasons. YouTube is just making some changes in their algorithms. Um, you know, stuff like that. But if you look at his videos here, uh, does he have other ways of uh, throwing some money in there? Yes, he does have a Patreon. So, while he may only make $1,300 or $1,500 a year, you know, he does have Patreons and, uh, oh, only 11. Okay, so, you know, he can get some more Patreons helping him out. So anyway, you know, it's just, I, I don't know. It's kind of a little mystery as to why his channel isn't growing as much as it should be because he does seem to have some really interesting content. But again, you know, cranking out more frequent videos, you know, with junk like cooking. <laughs> but lots of, you know, people love to see what you're eating. Fixing this, fixing that, doing, your, doing some live streams. Live streams are good, you know, uh, I don't know. So anyway... It's interesting to look and see how different YouTubers and what they're making and all that. And But I do think that uh, a lot of the money this year is down a bit, you know, because of the pandemic, because of advertising on YouTube. Uh, yeah, it's just tough. It's, it's not down all the way, but it's tougher to make the money than it was last year. And I, I do think, uh, too, usually around Christmas time, usually around the end of the year, we do see a surge in money. You know, if you're going to be making money on YouTube, in the the mo you'll you'll see November, December, even into January, your your income will be quite a bit up, and then bang, it always takes a big jump as the new year starts. But this year, the whole thing is different. Whatever. Ah, anyway, Avian Awesome there is continuing to uh, renovate his new Avian uh, uh, trailer, and uh, yeah, so some interesting interesting video there. Check it out. Uh, doing some cushion cutting. You know, really, uh, you know, making that and doing a nice job of fixing this whole place up and making it kind of luxurious. And uh, why not? You know, why not? Make it as comfortable as possible. And, uh, you know, taking it easy for the Christmas break. You know, look, this was actually probably shot a while ago because the leaves are still in the tree. RV Daydream's got some computer issues here. The laptop charger ain't working right. Apparently, even when it's plugged in, the charger will disconnect and then the battery switches on and then the battery drains and then the computer turns off. And I don't know, there's something wrong. You know, I got the same, I got some weird issues with the old backup machine over here. 
Yeah, I've been playing around with this. I don't know. I had to restore the entire Windows on it. Yeah, the Windows. That's a Windows 10 HP laptop, and uh, and now the char my charger does that. My charger will. Uh, it'll be. It doesn't work. I mean, the, the plug. If as long as it's plugged in, it will. It'll be fine. You know. But if the. If the you know. It's like. There's no battery in it. <laughs> the battery just, the minute I take the charger, the plug, the plug out, the charge just, the, I mean, the computer just shuts off. It's like there's no battery in it. And, and the battery light shows that it's charged up completely, but on the software, it just shows like the battery's empty. So it works as long as it's plugged in. You know, it's like a regular old computer, you know, like a desktop, but uh, I don't know. And then all of a sudden, I did this two summers ago, and then all of a sudden, it'll start working again. You know, the charger will, and the battery will charge up and all that. I don't know. I'll have to go hang out with RV Daydream and see if I can figure it out. He's still figuring it out. Is it? You know, he keeps it plugged in full-time all the time anyway, but it is nice to have that battery back up if the power were to go out, or if you were in an area where you don't have power, you know, like on the picnic ground or something. But anyway, so uh, he's been busy with that. It's a big deal with YouTubers that are nomads. You know, you've got to have your equipment working right. You know, we've had we've had Slim Potato Head. We've had Wandering Yimmy, Wandering Jimmy. We've had some other YouTubers with serious computer problems. And, uh, you know, they have to go, you know, stop making videos for a while to figure things out. It can be a real pain in the butt, you know? Interesting video here from RV Daydream uh, and, and a of course, Ants. <laughs> Ants in your vehicle are not a good thing either. So uh, check them out, RV Daydream. Nice couple, nice videos here. Uh, Florida, they're down in Florida. And uh, it's going to be cold in Florida now. We've got that uh, big snowstorm up there in the northeast. We only got cold rain here in North Carolina from that. Uh, it's going to be, I think, in the upper 40s today. Uh, but uh, Florida, yeah, this cold air is coming all the way down to Florida. So put on your jackets. But there's no snow shovels down there, no. <laughs> We got Holbold Tech. He's looking at an ALP 100 watt propane generator review. Yeah! <clears throat> Inspirational Nomad, a $39,000 mobile home for sale in Okeechobee, Florida. Wow! You know, one of the things we noticed, uh, my friend and I were looking at some uh, houses in Delaware, southern Delaware, there near Rehoboth Beach, and uh, there are a lot of those double wide trailer parks, you know, where you can park your trailer, or not, put up. Put a mobile home, put it down so it's, it's you know, there, okay? It's not on, you know, whatever. It's like permanently there. They can be moved, but it's not going to be driven around. You know, well, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, the, you know, the, yeah, the, they're, they're cheap. They're really relatively inexpensive. But then you've got these monthly land rent costs, which are sometimes through the roof. So uh, I don't know. Some interesting stuff there from Inspiration Nomad, who's also down in Florida. Now, that's probably, you know, hey, it's going to be chilly in Florida. But I was looking at the weather forecast for Arizona, and it's windy and only in the 60s there. So, you know, it's not, it's not really hot there either. <laughs> You gotta love RV Rebel Girl Carolyn. She's uh, talking about, uh, you know, I guess she's heading up to back to the Chicago area to be with family and friends for Christmas. She was in Arizona. So she's talking about it's 8 o'clock in the morning, early for her. She didn't sleep well last night. And uh, and uh, as she's driving along, you know, get moving, starting to move, ding, 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 you know, the ding, ding, ding of the, the, the ding, the, the things dinging at her, you know, you know, she just, I guess, just forgot the. Whatever. I see it. I see it there. It's just, it was just kind of down there. <laughs> she did remember. But yeah, you know, get, you need to get enough sleep so, you know, the brain's working good. You know, remembering all that stuff. You know, there's a lot of stuff to remember when you're a nomad on the road anyway. And then she pulls into a camping world near Memphis, Tennessee. All that good music, huh? <laughs> now some food here. What is it? This, she's uses she uses the same little paper plates that I do. You get them at the Walmart. I love those little paper plates. They're great in the microwave. Anyway, yes, she's in Illinois. Look at it, beautiful Illinois there. So, uh, you know what she should do? She's probably not that far from you know who that we don't talk about anymore. Who's got a whole bunch of arcade games? You know those old you know arcade games. You know they play at a you know one of those. Of arcade halls, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Slot machines, arcade games. He should be charging admission. 
<laughs> People should relive their childhood, go there and, you know, play the games they played as a youth when they were, you know, in their teens and 20s back in the 80s and 90s, you know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, you know RV Rebel Girl, you know, I don't know. She should stop by and say hi, you know. She's met him before. I don't remember the good old days, 2011. This was a uh, tour the uh, Love Your RV people did. Well, yeah, they're doing throwback videos here. Uh, Newfoundland Fjord Boat Tour and Cowhead Rocks from September of 2011. So anyway, so, you know, it's kind of nice to kind of see how things used to be when you didn't have to wear masks and socially distance and stuff. This is absolutely gorgeous, Newfoundland. Wow, you know, it's way up the coast there, way up the coast, uh, way past Nova Scotia and all that. But uh, this is one place that I would love to go to, you know, just to fly in. <laughs> do some luxury hotels, take a boat tour, and uh, and shoot some video. Anyway, it looks like some fun stuff. Check out some of the throwback videos from Love Your RV. Some, we got some real drama here. The ugliest RV entry mat there, the uh, Kemper Van Kenny, and the and the the Wolf Pack. You know they were they were nominated. They they did very well. They were nominated for an award there. The uh, Cam, the Camo Dave Cami Awards, but they didn't win. Sorry. Hey, yeah, well, congratulations to Moo Moo there. Uh, oh, wait, we gotta get, uh, gotta get a frame of Tucker there. Tucker, where's, where's Tucker? Come on, Tucker. There he is. Hey, congratulations to Moo Moo there. Yeah, well, you know, we're, uh, we're, 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 we're happy that we got nominated and did so well in the Cami Awards, but uh, we're, we're, we're glad Moo Moo won for the second year in a row. Yeah, Camo Dave Channel, yeah. Uh, we watch it all the time. We don't tell Daddy. We don't tell Daddy. He he wouldn't let us want to watch it. But we like to watch uh, the Camo Dave channel. And we congratulate Moo Moo. Yeah, Moo Moo for winning. Uh, she, we love Moo Moo. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Tucker. I got pretty bored last night. I was watching a lot of uh, cat videos. <laughs> Two talking cats. This is pretty weird. They, hey, look at this. Two talking cats for 56 seconds, 83 million views. How much money did uh, the cat's pajamas make on that one? Holy cow. <laughs> wow. Got some politics here from uh, Lacey Lee Elliott. She's the lovely lady that uh, does some traveling there from Vancouver. Uh, what was it, a year or two ago, she went and w went down to Vancouver. She's from Vancouver. She went down to Mexico, had a wonderful trip. Anyway, she's an auto journalist, but she gets into a very interesting video here where she talks about the media and lies that the media does, and especially regarding the you-know-what V thing that's going on now. You can't trust them. Yeah. Anyway, and then she gets into politics and how some of her subscribers claim she's on this side of the political spectrum, on that side of the political spectrum, and other stuff like that. Um, interesting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, what I say, if you're going to dabble in the politics, you know, of the V, of what different governments are doing, how the media is manipulating everything. If you're going to get a video like that, you're going to get people either loving you or hating you. It's either way. It's going to go either way. They're either going to love you, yeah, you're right, or they're going to get really mad and unsub. So I don't know. So, I, you know, hey, she said she had to say it. It's an interesting video. I recommend you watch it. Uh, I, I do agree with her on several points regarding the media, that, it's you know, the media is about hype. You know, hype, hype, hype. That's how they get views. And, uh, you know, she's a part of the media, too. She does uh, car reviews for um, I, I some Canadian TV channels and stuff like that. So, uh, so anyway, a good video. Interesting video there from Lacey Lee, although I think she's probably going to get some of her subs mad at her. Also, seeing, I, we did see a new one from Camper Van Kenny there, but a lot of the nomads that we watch that are out there in Quartzsite right now are kind of getting kind of quiet. I don't know. I guess, you know, they're settling down. The weather's not so great. It's a lot of wind. Uh, and what videos they're producing is just everybody filming everybody else and the cooking stuff. And I don't know. I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody's staying safe. I have a funny feeling that things are not going as well as people would like down there in Quartzsite. That's my gut feeling. We just had the Boondockers bash. We now have the Christmas break. 
Uh, they were supposed to be, uh, I think, uh, Graham Cracker's birthday stuff going on. I haven't seen too many videos about that or any of them, actually. And then we got Christmas, and then we got people are going to be hanging out down there in Arizona, southwestern Arizona. As you can see, that's where everybody is right now. Um, through, no, through January, and Bob said they're not going to have a formal RTR like last year, Cheap RV Living Bob. So, you know, we'll see, but everybody's going to probably be camping down there and all that other stuff. And then you got <clears throat> the V, and then we have the Thanksgiving surge that's obviously hitting the Phoenix area. And then we're going to have um, probably another surge after Christmas. I don't know. Going to be interesting to see how everybody hangs out and does. But so far, the videos we've seen of folks, uh, Band of the Nomad Pug, Blue Van Dan, Aja Pandemonium, everybody seems to be okay. Let's hope it stays that way. All right, folks, that ought to do it for the 17th of December 2020. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, as I said, I did a little live stream yesterday with the winners of the uh, the um, the uh, Cami Awards uh, Best Nomadic Pet. And Moo Moo, Aja, Pandemonium won. So thank you uh, to... Uh, if, Aja, if Aja would like... A uh, Cami Award statue for Moo Moo. Uh, email me her uh, mailing address and I will happily send one along towards the end of the year when the awards are done. We still got about five more categories to go and uh, we'll announce those uh, this weekend on my live streams and into next week. So, uh, yeah, we're dragging it out as much as we can. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Have a great one. Vlog under. <laughs>